This is the morning weather update. This is for Wednesday, the 28th of February. This is James Spann. A very sharp change in the weather across Alabama today, thanks to a cold front, some rain at times, windy, falling temperatures, but we bounce back by the time the weekend gets here. And what about rain chances this weekend? Many, 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 many questions. So we'll do our best to find many, many answers. Here's the upper air look. Big trough coming down across parts of the Midwest toward the Great Lakes. That set up the severe storms last night around the Great Lakes, including parts of uh, Chicago. Pretty rough night for them last night. We'll check the radar composite early this morning. Note that band of heavier showers coming into northwestern Tennessee around Jackson. Uh, that's in advance of the cold front that will be passing through Alabama today. No severe storms. Probably not much thunder at all, but a major temperature change coming up. Now, as the day begins, we're sitting around 70 in many places. Keep in mind, the average high for this date is 63. We're well above that as the day begins. Uh, Huntsville, 69. Mobile and Birmingham, 69. But uh, let's say you're in Huntsville. You wake up now and it's 69 degrees. You want to go out there in your nice short sleeve shirt and your cargo shorts and everything else, well, you're going to be in the 40s uh, very quickly uh, by mid-morning. Now, in advance of the front, it is windy this morning. We have a wind advisory in effect for the northern two-thirds of the state. It's been a windy night. We could see winds gusting to 30, 40 miles per hour in spots this morning. Once the front passes, the weather stays breezy but not quite as windy this afternoon, so the wind advisory will expire at noon today. And around the nation, we have wind issues all the way to New England in advance of the front. A tornado watch this morning for parts of Kentucky and Ohio, including Lexington, Louisville, Cincinnati. And out in the western states, blizzard warnings for the Sierra Nevada mountains. They're going to be slammed with very heavy snow in coming days. Winter storm warnings for parts of northern California, Oregon, Washington State, and Idaho. Now, there's a marginal risk of severe storms today north and east of Alabama. Not here. We expect no severe storms. Uh, that runs from near Nashville up to uh, New York State and parts of New England. And again, there might be a rumble of thunder as the cold front comes through, but no severe storms. Tomorrow, a chance of some thunder across Louisiana and some of the adjacent states. Nothing severe expected. And then on day three, which is Friday, again, the chance of some thunder across Alabama. But understand, temperatures will be in the 50s. It will be a cool, stable air mass. And I really don't expect much thunder at all. Also, some thunder potentially for the northern Pacific coast on Friday. But again, no severe storms. Here's the rain for the next seven days and uh, pretty wet here next week. This is the rain valid between now and Wednesday. And for most of Alabama, the amount's in the one to three inch range. And I, we might get away with a fairly dry weekend, but uh, again, we'll have uh, rain at times today, rain at times Friday, and the uh, next week looks pretty wet, at least the first half of the week. In fact, let's go through modeling, model fans. This is the GFS. This is the 06Z run, ballot today at four o'clock. You can see that negative tilt trough coming through Canada and the Great Lakes. Down below that, the surface front pushing through. Much colder air behind the front. Very cold air. I mean, it's a big change. Uh, some places dropping 60, 70 degrees up north. But we'll see some rain at times today. And again, nothing heavy. And again, I just don't think we hear much thunder. But the temperatures will be all over the board. Your weather app will be struggling today to try and tell you uh, when the cold front passes. This is noon coming off the high-resolution her model, and you can see the sharp frontal boundary near Birmingham at 12 noon today. At noon, it will be near 80 in Montgomery and Dothan and Greenville and Evergreen and Andalusia, even Mobile and Baldwin counties in advance of the front. But north of the front in the Tennessee Valley, you'll be in the upper 40s with a brisk north wind. So for many spots, you're going to rise up into the 60s and 70s this morning. But once the front passes, Temperatures will drop quickly by about 20 degrees. I mean quickly. It will be a very quick change. So just be ready for falling temperatures today. This is the high-res Herb Valley this evening at 6 o'clock. And at that point, the better chance of any showers, uh, basically south of a line from Mobile to Montgomery to Opelika. And those showers should end by 9 or 10 o'clock in southeast Alabama tonight, and the sky will gradually clear. 
So tomorrow should be a cool, dry day. We'll call it partly sunny, lows in the 30s, highs in the 50s. And then Friday, here comes the next wave with more rain. Friday, cloudy and cool with occasional rain. Temperatures statewide should be mostly in the 50s during the day. So obviously a cool, stable air mass, no chance of any severe storms. So what about the weekend? One thing for sure, the weather warms up. This is Saturday, and we'll see upper 60s and low 70s. And uh, the GFS trending drier, suggesting any showers should be confined to the southern counties of the state. Even there, it's not going to rain that much. Uh, For north and central Alabama, we'll just mention an outside risk of a little isolated shower. So I think a decent chunk of the day Saturday for most of the state will be dry. And on Sunday, we'll be in the 70s. We bounce right back. And again, there could be a few isolated or scattered showers, but just not much rain. So the weekend really not looking that bad. But then Monday, rain coverage will be increasing in advance of a cold front. And again, the better dynamic support will be passing to the north, and the front just kind of stalls out. This is Tuesday. So rain likely at times Monday and Tuesday. And there certainly could be some thunder, but it's not a severe weather look. And this is Wednesday, a week from today, the 6th of March, big trough in the west. And again, the front stalls out, and a pool of moisture stays in place. So uh, we're going to see some chance of rain Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and probably Maybe into Thursday and Friday. Let's keep going. This is 10 days out, Friday the 8th. Got an upper low that's to the north. And again, a chance of rain with the cold front coming through. So uh, it could be we're almost every day next week. We'll have some chance of rain at times. And there could be some thunderstorms along the way, but we're just not seeing a big signal for a severe weather problem at this point. Rain for Birmingham coming off the European Ensemble. The mean between 3 and 4 inches. Uh, between now and the 14th of March, temperatures coming off the national blend of models. Now, that's 72 today. That's going to be uh, uh, a little confusing because for many of you, that's going to come this morning. For some of you, that might come at 6 or 7 o'clock. Now, if you're in South Alabama, you might touch 80 today. But once that front passes, remember, temperatures come down quickly by about 20 degrees. And then we'll see 50s tomorrow and Friday. But we bounce back, upper 60s Saturday. Low 70s Sunday and Monday, and then upper 60s and low 70s on through uh, Saturday, March the 9th. And the latest 8 to 14 day guidance, this is for March 6th through March 12th. Below average in the west, above average in the east, including Alabama in the deep south. Stormy in Chicago last night. Barry Butler is an amazing photographer. Uh, He takes some really remarkable photos, including thunderstorm photographs. All these were taken by uh, Barry last night as that uh, line of storms came through Chicago. There were multiple tornado warnings in effect around Chicago, especially the northern part. Uh, I've not heard of any specific damage reports, but I know there was some. And that thing created quite an MCV uh, coming into the Great Lakes. Notice the swirl there like like an inland hurricane coming out across Lake Michigan. That's a mesoscale convective vortex, but uh, Pretty impressive look there for late February for the Great Lakes. And down this way, it's been windy overnight. Uh, I I was getting home last night about uh, midnight and just took that of the uh, trees shaking and the clouds screaming. That The low-level jet was about uh, 40, 50 knots, so just a few thousand feet off the ground. And for uh, many spots, it has been a very windy evening. All right, so uh, today I'm going over to Calhoun County. I'll see the students at DeArmondville elementary school in the Oxford system. Tomorrow, going to Marion County. I'll see everybody at Hamilton Elementary School. And then Friday, back to Calhoun County for Coldwater Elementary. And don't forget this Saturday, it's a big weather radio programming event and a book signing. And you know the deal, this is the baseline for getting severe weather warnings. And I know your phone, it's an important part of the process, absolutely. But cell service can stop working during a tornado emergency. That has nothing to do with cell service. And again, uh, we'll be at Homewood Ace Hardware. Homewood. Of course, Homewood was hit by a tornado back in early December. And uh, we will program your weather radio for free. If you want us to check it, bring it by. If you need to get one, you can buy one there. We'll program it on the spot. We'll have friends there from the National Weather Service helping us do that. 
And uh, it's a very important function. So again, that is weather radio programming in Homewood between 10 and 1. Homewood Ace Hardware. And at the same time, we will be doing a book signing uh, where we're going to have uh, uh, all of the fun little uh, books we have for children. They're great. Uh, the Benny and Chipper series, The Wonder of Thunder, um, and Prepared Not Scared. And these are for kids that maybe are a little afraid of storms or love weather. Either way. And we've got All You Can Do Is Pray. That's the book about the generational tornado outbreak of April 27, 2011. And Weathering Life, the autobiography. So again, uh, we'll, on all the shirts, hats, that will be there. We take a lot of pictures. We have a lot of fun. We hope to see you there. Homewood at Homewood Ace Hardware between 10 and 1 on Saturday. And of course, we invite you to watch us on TV this evening, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.